Hey guys, it's Dancy2. We're back. More Final Fantasy 4. Last time, I was... Last time we became a paddling. Go us. This time, after fighting my way down through Mount Ordeals and getting up to level 11 with C... Oh. I now know what the Cursed Ring does. The Cursed Ring. Uh, it says that it increases armor attributes. It actually... I have a... Who else is good with it? Um... Oh, okay. I thought Guy Gear did something else, but what it actually does is, if your if your armor resists a element, it will now absorb it with the Cursed Ring equipped. Um, this is actually kind of useful later in the game when we get a very specific armor, or uh, other armor we get earlier in the game before that, but right now it really doesn't serve a purpose to, for me. I am going to hold on to it though, because with those armors, it will actually be good. Um, the downside of it is, of course, it drops all your stats by 15, it, I'm not sure if it drops all your stats, but it drops a good deal of your stats by 15. And, yeah, you can absorb elements, but you're gonna lose a lot of your stats. Uh, this will probably be a prime choice for, uh, Cecil later in the game. Anyway, I is gonna take a Chocobo back, as soon as I heal. I do not believe anyone learned any new spells on my trip back down, except for uh, Cecil learning a couple white magic spells. Anyway, white chocobos heal your MP if I haven't gone over that before. But, need a yellow one in order to get back. Yay! Yeah, I'm just gonna ride him back, because there's. Although I could fight the battles, they're not gonna give me any XP really good. And I just prefer to run back on my chocobo. Anyway, we get here and we throw him across the planet. Get out of here. Uh, give me a second. I want to make sure I have what equipment I have for people. Alright, I'm back. Uh, yeah. Because Cecil needs new equipment. Actually, 650. Guy, he can put the guy gear, wow. Um. I guess I should go. Uh, do I have enough money to buy all this? Yeah, I think I do. Light helmet, night armor, and gauntlets. And a uh, silver armlet for Tella. I think that's all I need. Um, this armor I'm getting for him, it has something special about it. I believe the light shield does as well. They all increase his spirit by, I believe, two points? I'm not sure about that, but they do increase his spirit to some degree. Um, this will allow him to cast white magic better, and a lot of people use this to make him a uh, pseudo-healer. I do not, however, because, to be perfectly frank, ah, uh, telling he's a wizard's hat too. To be perfectly frank, as a magic user, Cecil sucks. He really does. I don't find much use in him. His mat, his, his uh, white magic pool is absolutely horrid. He doesn't get that much good white magic. And what he gets, gets is really just supplemental. It's there to help out when it needs it, otherwise it's completely worthless. I'm just trying to sell my Dark my uh, dark Knight equipment while I'm saying this. Uh, the only reason I'm really getting him uh, the equipment right now is because it's his first equipment and he does need it. Keeping that. But as a spellcaster, I, uh, I needed that wizard's hat, I'm an idiot. But as a spellcaster, he really does suck. There's no getting around that. Even even with the uh, good boost that his uh, equipment gives him, I just don't like using him as a spellcaster. And to be frank, he does suck. Uh, yeah, I'll put the silver armor on him for now. But best just to keep the ruby rings off of people. Uh, and I think Tella could use a new staff. No, no he doesn't. What am I saying? I have a new staff lined up for Tella. Anyway, we are now going to go brag to the Elder because we are a paddling. Indeed, we have succeeded at winning our mission. So 
Spy on me? I thought you were spying on Tilla. Then again, I guess that wouldn't make too much sense. That's okay. I can't stay mad at you. You're so damn cute. Five-year-old mages. What the hell, game? I got it at the top of the mountain. Because an undead spirit gave it to me. At least I think it's an undead spirit. He was talking to me and I couldn't see him. It has a legend on it. it. Must not be a very long legend. Oh, like you wouldn't believe. One born of dragon, bearing darkness and light, shall rise to the heavens, over the still land. The moon's light eternal brings a promise to earth with bounty and grace. Yay, gibberish. The light. Of course you don't. Well, I'm the only one to pass the trial, so I probably am. Yeah, tell us got his priorities in order. Let's go kick his ass and get my job back. And maybe I can kick that king's ass, too. Yes, he kind of did. Yeah, you can. You don't have enough MP to use it. Alright. You can use the Devil's Road. Yeah, where are you two going? Come with us. I don't think so. I, they're coming with me. No, of course I want you tagging along. You're the best mages in this game, in my opinion. considerably easy. Anyway, Devil's Road is now open to us. Uh, yeah, let's go through. It's go time! Whee! Uh, do I need anything else here? I don't think so. So Devil's Road is now active for us. Is there anyone down here? Oh, there's Naming Way. The reason I'm pointing out Naming Way is because I'm not sure if he's in the same spots in the DS version, and he does do something there. But, like I said, I'm not going over what he does because I don't have a clue. Damn it. Weapon shop's still locked. Wait, what? Dancer's wanted. Uh... Place is always full of scary soldiers. Well, let's go. Hey, look at that! Look who we found! I got the treasure in here, right? Yeah. Look who we found! We found Yang! Go us! Hey, Yang! I have a slot in my party. Come with me. Wait, what? I'm not a traitor. I'm the only one who's speaking sane around here. Oh, crap. We have Baron Guards here. They are. Uh, mostly warriors, but they do have some magic. They can do status ailments. Uh, yeah, they're pretty notorious for mini, and I think they can also cast Pig on you. But, yeah. Pretty standard beyond that. Uh, let's just throw a Thunder at them and have Cecil attack. 
Yeah, okay. So they counterattack physical attacks with Minnie and they counterattack magic with Pig, from what I can see. And Yang is pissed. Yang, stop this! Alright, whatever. I'll knock some sense into you. With some bio spells. Bio is. I'm not sure if I went over this. Bio is a non elemental spell. Um, it's roughly a level 2 spell I found. Um, so it's on par with uh, the Thunder uh, Fire, uh, that kind of series. But it's not elemental, so it won't be absorbed by anything. I, I tend to use it just when enemies don't have uh, weaknesses, and I, since I don't have Quake yet. Anyway, just smack Yang around a little bit. Uh-oh. What if I can stop him? Why is your kick why is your kick so good now? No, I can't stop him, dang it. Anyway, I should probably show off Twink here since this is probably the best chance I'll ever have for it. Twin uses, like I said before, Twin uses up both their, takes both of them, and it uses up two turns for both of them. Oh shit. Once again, why is your kick so good now? Thank Christ. First time I've had a character uh, die in battle? Or die, be dead at the end of battle. Uh oh. Well, so much for her. Edward was smart, he hit the deck. He's probably alive somewhere. God knows where though. Again, yay! And now time to go over something that inks this game. Oh, not yet, because we have cutscene time. And apparently that girl is a ghost now. And Pal's just gonna go in bed, and everyone else talky time. Yes, you are, yeah. And these are our new mages. I've replaced the old ones. Yes, no doubt he will have an airship. Alright, because he was in charge of guards, he has a key. That is good for us, bad for them. Anyway, I believe we get a free in-stay here. I'm not sure if this is going to revive Palom or not. Oh, it does. Sweet. I don't have to waste MP or anything. Uh, what does Yang come with? Absolutely nothing. Ah, uh, he lost all his claws. Damn it. That pisses me off slightly. Now I have to buy him again. Luckily, in this town, you can buy uh, his claws. But, as you saw here, he is at a higher level. That is because once at once uh, party members join you in this game for at least one time, they will continue to gain XP uh, even after they've left your party. This is very good because it means you won't have to uh, grind up characters, and it's a huge problem I have with modern RPGs. Namely, pretty much every Final Fantasy from 10 after, although I never played 10, I believe 10's the same way, that only the party members in battle gain XP. That is not the case in this game, thank Christ. Because I hate that rule. Because that's basically... It makes sense, but it's nothing but an excuse to grind. Anyway, we have two Thunder Rods here. Uh, I want to grab an Ice Claw and a Thunder Claw for Yang. 
and over here we have armor. Uh, so it's headbands. They prevent confusion, but they're not good. Uh, Kenpai, Kenpo G. These are actually this is preferable as far as any kind of armor goes for all of these guys. I want to get at least I want to get at least ones for Yang and uh, Cecil. Uh, which means I'm going to probably grind a lot. But I have a way to get that very easily, which I will go over next time, because we're running very low on time now. So, I will see you then. And we will get money, and we will get armor, and we will get good things. So see you then.